his second letter to the Corinthians, St. Paul talks about the sufferings that he's undergone for Christ. He talks about his shipwrecks, his scourging, his meetings with robbers, the fact that he was stoned, he was imprisoned. In other words, he went through enormous trials and tribulations in his missionary activity. It's clearly an important part of his story, but in order to understand it, we have to see it in the light of the most important event in St. Paul's life, which was his conversion experience on the road to Damascus. That was when he heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And Paul said, who are you? And the voice responded, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. And in that response, where we see that Jesus Christ identifies himself with his first followers, with the early Christians, we see the heart of Paul's understanding of the meaning of his own suffering. He sees the Christian, whoever the Christian may be, as identified with Christ, forming part of the body of Christ. That's true of all Christians, but it's also true of him. And he realizes that his life is being lived in Christ. Not just his life, but also his sufferings are sufferings that he undergoes in Christ. So he arrives at the conclusion that in himself, in his own sufferings, it is Christ who is suffering. He says, I am crucified with Christ. And he says, I am making up in my body for the sufferings that are lacking to the body of Christ, which is the church. In other words, his sufferings are part of his own mission in the world, but they're also part of Jesus Christ's redemptive mission in the world, part of the salvation of mankind depends on his participation in suffering. That's true of St. Paul, but it's also true of every Christian. And St. Paul himself tells the early Christians that they too will have to win their salvation through trials and tribulations. And it's a reminder to us that carrying the cross is a central part of our vocation and of our mission as Christians in the world.